In this video, we're going over the top five problems on this sixth generation Nissan Sentra. Number one, the ignition coils. The ignition coils are located right here, and most of them are underneath this intake plenum. To replace those, you would have to remove the plenum, and when you do that, you want to replace the gasket as well. Some of the symptoms you're gonna have when you have a bad ignition coil is the engine's gonna run rough, you'll have a check engine light, and it'll probably be flashing. And it's always a good idea to replace the spark plug when you're replacing the coils. Number two, the throttle body. Now it's located right here, right in front of the intake plenum. And this is what's gonna allow more airflow into the engine as you accelerate. Some of the symptoms you may notice when you have a bad throttle body or that it's going bad is a rough idle. The engine may not accelerate as quickly as normal and also a check engine light with a throttle body related code. In some cases, you can get away with just cleaning the throttle body, but most of the time, if it's a sensor related code, you're gonna have to replace it. Number three, the mass airflow sensor. Now, the mass airflow sensor is located right here right next to the air box, and it's what's gonna read the airflow into the engine. The symptoms you can have with a bad mass airflow are gonna be similar to the throttle body being bad. Your idle is gonna be odd. You may have fluctuating idle and a check engine light. It's fairly easy to replace the mass airflow sensor on this car. Disconnect the connector, take these two screws out, and you can pull the sensor straight out, put the new one in, reconnect it, and you should be good to go. Number four, the blower motor. You may notice when you turn your heat or air conditioning on that the blower motor is not working properly or it's making excessive noise. In most vehicles, the blower motor is located underneath the glove box in this area. Unfortunately, on this vehicle, it's more in the center of the dash and you have to access it from the driver's side. You need to remove the gas pedal and the brake pedal assembly. If the blower motor isn't working, another thing you want to look at is the blower motor resistor. That could also be bad. Number five, front hub bearings. You may notice while you're driving down the road, you have a lot of excessive noise coming from the front of the vehicle. Kind of sounds like a jet plane. And the noise may change when you turn left to right. How you can check this is with the vehicle off the ground, grab the tire, top and bottom, and give it a shake see if there's any movement in the tire and also grab the coil spring right here and spin the tire. And if you feel vibrations in the coil spring, that can help you determine which side it's coming from. So there's our top five problems for this Nissan Sentra. Overall, these are great vehicles. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you out, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.